name is Attorney Walter Rudolph Knopf III, and what we're going to be doing today is talking about what you need to fill out on an SSA 561-U2, which is a really simple way of saying the SSA Intent to Appeal Form for Reconsideration. It's a request for recon. Okay. So you got a denial, right? Now you need to appeal. You will need two documents. Document A, 561. Document B, 3441. You have the duty to go forth and try and file your appeal online via the E3441 system. Now, it's a government website and it has problems all the time. Once a day. Usually for me, if I'm doing a bunch of appeals, one or two of them won't go through for some reason. Okay. What does that mean? It means you'll then have to revert to using the PDFs for the E, or rather the regular 3441 and the 561, which I have right here. Okay. Let's go ahead and talk about SSI, SSDI, and how you go ahead and appeal your claim using a paper 561. Well, at the very top of it, you're going to fill in name of claimant, your name, then fill out your social security number. Okay, if you have a claim number, you can go ahead and put it in there, but most of you have a social security number that is the claim number. All right. Issues being appealed. You can put anything in here. It could be retirement or whatever, but we're going to focus solely on SSI and SSDI. Okay, so let's talk about that. We're going to focus solely on SSI and SSDI. Okay. So put in there SSI slash SSDI. Go to the next question. I do not agree with the Social Security Administration's determination and request for consideration. My reasons are. I know a lot of you are sitting there thinking, well, I've got all these reasons. I've got all these. You know. The magic language you are looking for is I, or the claimant, am unable to work and I, slash the claimant, meet, equal, or exceed a listing. I, the claimant, or I, myself, am unable to work and I, the claimant, okay, meet, equal, or exceed a listing. That is the magical language that comes from the five-step sequential process, which are the elements for disability. Okay, when we say you can't work, you can't work, you're disabled. When we say you meet equal or exceed a listing, that's the fast track, because you're so bad to being found disabled. So basically, uh, you know, can't work, that uses all five elements, um, or essentially, potentially, if you're over 60, all four, because, you know, we don't really count number five when you're that old. And if you meet equal or exceed a listing, that's the fast track. You use up three elements, and then you're found disabled. Okay. All right, next section down. I want to appeal your determination about my claim for blah, 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 blah. Look, what you need to know is this. If you're appealing a standard obtaining a benefits claim and you get a medical denial, well, you do not appeal your medical condition. Da -da 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 -da. You pick the first one. It's that simple. Okay? Case review. The other ones are about technical denials. They're about payment changes, things like that. If you're going to choose between an informal conference and a formal conference, and you have the option between the two, choose a formal conference. That way you can have them subpoena people to come in and give testimony. All right? Okay. Back up to the top one, case review. It's simple. Okay? It's going to go through a classic reconsideration. FO will send it to DDS. DDS will adjudicate, send it up to the higher levels. Uh, if they feel it's a go, if they don't feel it's a go, it'll get forwarded back to the local FO. That's it. All right? Next part contact information, claimant signature, put your signature down, it says optional, but put it down, mailing address, city, state, zip code, telephone number, and date, cool, don't forget to have the person that's your attorney fill out the thing on the right, they will of course, because they've done it a zillion times, but let me point something out, it says name of claimant's representative, if any, 
do not get a non-legal representative. That means a non-attorney. That means one of these guys advertising online that has, you know, some really, really, you know, whooped up letters after his name, which in my opinion, I, I, I've searched through these things. I've seen the training. I've seen, you know, SOAR training for the most part requires a weekend and then follow-up emails and checks and, you know, basically, you know, trial by fire. In my opinion, SOAR is an amazing program, but it needs to go through a few more evolutions to really be that, that strong, useful tool that it could be for a lot of people that can't obtain attorneys. But here's the thing, why would you ever not obtain an attorney when they work on a contingency fee basis? They don't get paid unless they win. So I always sat back and thought, why would somebody get somebody else when they could just get an attorney to work it for them and they don't have to pay the attorney unless they win? All right, so, you know, bottom line here is make sure your attorney fills in the right section there, which they, of course, will. They'll be the ones making sure you fill out the rest of it, not you making sure they do. At the bottom, you have a section that's for the SSA to fill out. It doesn't really, you know, has nothing to do with you, so don't worry about it. Now, you've completed your 561. Congratulations, you're alive. At this point, what you need to do is you need to make a copy of it, you need to make a scan of it, and then if you're unable to file an E3441, the online one, search Google, uh, you know, uh, appeal my disability claim, it'll pop right up, and make sure it's the government, not, you know, some random company. At that point, what that means is if you have an issue with the online website, make sure you have backups of what you send to them and some sort of read receipt or receipt in general that says, hey, this was sent on this day at this time and the document was this many pages. And if there's a way to do it, title the document in the machine so that when it sends it out, you have it all printed out from that third party resource. That way, when they say they never got it and you're three weeks after the deadline, you have proof that you did in fact send it and they did not receive it. Okay? My name is Attorney Walter Rufo III with Disability Resolution PA, an Orlando Orange County based social security disability law firm. If you'd like the most up to date information, if you would like a free consultation, if you would like a custom video, give me a call, shoot me an email, and we'll go from there. Thanks so much. Bye bye.